Ever dreamt of soaring through the skies as an airline pilot? The image of a pilot navigating a massive aircraft through clouds and over continents can be both exciting and daunting. It's a career that promises the thrill of travel, the satisfaction of skill, and the allure of the open skies. Yet, many are deterred by the perceived complexities of the journey to becoming a pilot. The process, however, is more attainable than you might imagine. It requires dedication and discipline, certainly, but it's also an adventure, a step-by-step -step journey that transforms the dreamer into the doer, the novice into the professional. From earning your private pilot certificate to interviewing with your desired airline, the path to becoming a commercial pilot is a structured course designed to guide you through every necessary stage. You too can become an airline pilot. Here is everything you need to know. The first step towards becoming a commercial pilot is earning a private pilot certificate. This certificate, issued by the Federal Aviation Administration or FAA, is your passport to the skies. But how do you earn it? Well, it starts with training in a single-engine airplane where you learn the basics of flight. This training is crucial because it sets the foundation for all your future flying. You'll learn everything from how to control the aircraft to understanding weather patterns and navigation. You'll also get hands-on experience with night flying and cross-country flights. After completing your training, you'll have to pass the FAA's written, oral, and practical exams. Yes, it's challenging, but remember, every commercial pilot started right where you are now. Once you've got your private pilot certificate, you've laid the groundwork for your aviation career. Now, you're ready to take on the skies and move on to the next step in your journey to becoming a commercial pilot. With your private pilot certificate in hand, it's time to earn an instrument rating. This critical milestone allows pilots to stretch their wings, quite literally, and fly under instrument flight rules, often abbreviated as IFR. But what does this mean? Well, it means you're no longer limited to flying in clear skies. With an instrument rating, you can navigate your way through fog, rain, and even the darkest of nights. It's all about learning to trust the instruments on your dashboard, hence the name. You'll master the art of understanding your altimeter, your attitude indicator, and your directional gyro, among others. This rating is not just about expanding your horizons, it's also about enhancing safety. Weather is unpredictable and with an instrument rating, you're equipped to handle what the skies throw at you. Remember, every successful flight is a safe flight. Earning your instrument rating is a key step towards becoming a commercial pilot. Next, you'll need to earn your commercial pilot certificate. This crucial step in your journey to becoming an airline pilot involves meeting specific experience requirements and demonstrating a higher standard of aviation skill. To qualify for the commercial pilot certificate, you must first have at least 250 hours of flight time under your belt. This should include 100 hours in powered aircraft, 50 hours in airplanes, and 100 hours as the pilot in command. Of these, 50 hours must be cross-country flight as pilot in command. Once you've accumulated the necessary flight time, you'll need to pass a written knowledge test as well as a practical test. These assessments will evaluate your understanding of aircraft systems, navigation, meteorology, and aviation regulations. But that's not all. You'll also need to demonstrate your proficiency in complex maneuvers, both on the ground and in the air. With your commercial pilot certificate, you're now legally allowed to be paid to fly. Your next step is to obtain a flight instructor certificate. This is more than just another certificate to add to your growing collection. Becoming a certified flight instructor often abbreviated as CFI, opens up a new world of opportunities for you. Firstly, it allows you to earn a living doing what you love, flying. But it's not just about the money. Teaching others to fly also polishes your own skills and knowledge. It's said that the best way to truly master a subject is to teach it. And that certainly holds true for aviation. In addition, becoming a CFI is a fantastic way to accumulate the flight hours required by airlines. Instead of simply logging hours, you're actively engaging in the process of flight, honing your skills, and passing on your passion for aviation to others. As a certified flight instructor, you're not only earning a living, but also gaining valuable experience for your next step. To fly large passenger airliners, you'll need to add multi-engine privileges to your commercial pilot certificate. This is the next big milestone on your journey to the cockpit of a commercial airliner. But what does it involve? Adding a multi-engine rating to your commercial pilot certificate is a crucial step. It allows you to operate aircraft with more than one engine, a standard requirement for most commercial aviation jobs. This additional certification is obtained through extra training, 
usually involving around 10 to 15 hours of flight time in a multi-engine aircraft. During this training, you'll learn to master the complexities of handling an aircraft with multiple engines, including dealing with engine failures and other critical situations. It's a challenging but rewarding process that significantly broadens your piloting skills. Once you've successfully completed the training and passed the necessary tests, the multi-engine rating is added to your commercial pilot certificate. With your multi-engine rating, you're one step closer to your dream of becoming an airline pilot. Now it's time to gain experience and prepare for your airline interview. Once you've earned your multi-engine rating, the next crucial step is to gain quality flight experience. This is not just about logging hours in the sky. It's about developing your skills, your decision-making, your understanding of aircraft systems, and your ability to manage unexpected situations. This is where you truly become a pilot. Flight instructing is an excellent way to gain this essential experience. As an instructor, you'll have the opportunity to reinforce what you've learned, deepen your understanding of aviation theory, and hone your flying skills. Plus, you'll be sharing your passion for aviation with others. Through instructing, you'll amass the flight experience necessary to meet the requirements of the Airline Transport Pilot, or ATP, certificate. This certificate is the gold standard for commercial pilots and includes a minimum requirement of 1,500 hours of total flight time. Now let's talk about the interview. Between 500 and 1,500 hours of total flight time, you'll be ready to interview with your desired airline for the position of first officer. This is an exciting milestone in your journey to become an airline pilot. Airlines typically conduct both a technical interview and an HR interview. In the technical interview, you'll be asked about your flying knowledge, your understanding of aircraft systems, and your decision-making in various flight scenarios. The HR interview, on the other hand, is all about you as a person. They want to know if you're a good fit for their team, if you can handle the pressures of the job and how you cope with challenges. Remember, the interview is also your opportunity to ask questions. This is your chance to learn more about the company culture, growth opportunities, and what life is like as a first officer at that airline. With a successful interview, you'll receive a conditional offer of employment from your desired airline. This is an important step forward on your journey to becoming an airline pilot. From here, the sky is truly the limit. Finally, upon meeting the requirements of the Airline Transport Pilot Certificate, you can start your career as an airline pilot. This is the moment you've been working towards, the point where you can really start to reap the rewards of your hard work and dedication. As a commercial pilot, you are eligible for a wide range of job opportunities. From flying regional routes to working for major airlines, the sky's the limit. You will have reached the hiring minimums of most regional commercial airline pilot jobs. This is the moment where the potential of your career truly takes off. Most pilots start their commercial careers at regional airlines. This is a fantastic way to gain experience, log flight hours, and get a feel for the life of a professional pilot. It's also a stepping stone towards the major airlines who generally require more experience. However, it's worth noting that the typical career progression is not the only path to becoming a pilot for a major airline. Some airlines offer direct programs that allow you to bypass the regional airlines and go straight to the majors. This can be a great opportunity for those who are eager to fast track their careers. For instance, the Frontier Pilot Cadet Program and the Spirit Direct Program are two such initiatives. These programs allow pilots with 1,500 hours of flight time to go straight to select major airlines. But whether you choose the traditional route or take advantage of a direct program, the fact remains the same. You are now a commercial pilot. You've earned the right to be paid for doing what you love, flying. You've climbed the ladder step by step from the basics of flight to the highly skilled work of a commercial pilot. And there you have it. Follow these steps and you could be on your way to becoming an airline pilot. The journey might be long and challenging, but the destination is worth every bit of effort. After all, the view from the cockpit is like nothing else in the world.